Hello, and welcome to A Priori Story Timeless. I'm here with Bob Bear. And Bob Bear, you guys want to help? There you go. Okay. This is a good story for avian friends who are definitely not bears on the inside because they have no wings. So that's for sure. Okay, you guys ready for a story? Well, this is a Lumbee story. <coughs> okay. This is called the symbolism of the eagle feather. This is uh, told by Sharon Locklear, um, <coughs> Metrolina Powell. In the beginning, the great spirit above gave to the animals and birds wisdom and knowledge and the power to talk to men. He sent these creatures to tell man that he showed himself through them. They would teach a chosen man sacred songs and dance, as well as much ritual and lore. The creature most loved by the great spirit was the eagle, and the bird part, for he tells the story of life. The eagle, as you know, has only two eggs, and all living things in the world are divided into two. Here is man and woman, male and female. And this is true with animals, birds, trees, flowers, and so on. All things have children of two kinds so that life may continue. Sometimes they're born as bears and they become birds. Yes. <clears throat> Man has two eyes, two hands, two feet, and he has a body and soul, substance and shadow. Through his eyes, he sees pleasant and unpleasant scenes. Through his nostrils, he smells good and bad odors. With his ears, he hears joyful news and words that make him sad. His mind is divided between good and evil. His right hand, he may often use for evil, such as war or striking a person in anger. But his left hand, which is near his heart, is always full of kindness. His right foot may lead him in the wrong path, but his left foot always leads him the right way. And so it goes. He has daylight and darkness, summer and winter, peace and war and life and death. In order to remember this lesson of life, look to the great eagle. The favorite bird of the great spirit, the eagle feather is divided into two parts, part light, part dark. This represents daylight and darkness, summer and winter, peace and war and life and death. So that you may remember what I have told you, look well on the eagle for his feathers too, to tell the story of life. Look at the feathers I wear upon my hand. The one on the right is large and perfect and is decorated. This represents man. The one on my left is small and plain. This represents woman. The eagle feather is divided into two parts, dark and white. This represents daylight and darkness, summer and winter. For the white tells of summer when all is bright and the dark represents the dark days of winter. My children, remember what I tell you, for it is you who will choose the path in life you will follow, the good way or the wrong way. Thank you for joining us. <laughs>